Hey everybody, I'm Tim Brzezinski. In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use GeoGebra Augmented Reality to create a virtual model, in this case, of one of my wife's lovely pottery pieces, this bowl here. Okay? And any kind of, you know, most 3D uh, solids you can actually model with the AR app. Okay, right now, um, you're allowed to enter two surface equations of the form Z equals. Okay, so uh, only two for right now. It's going to get better over time. But right here, you got to think about for a second, when you see a bowl like this, okay, look at it from the side here, and imagine the x-axis coming straight through here, coming right out the middle there, okay? Now when I look at it from this perspective right here, I'm thinking, what kind of a function looks like this? And the first fu function that, you know, pops into my head, and hopefully most students' heads, is the square root function, right? If, if the origin, say, right here, maybe the root function's been bumped up maybe one notch, and maybe there's a scale factor of one and a half or two, because it curves up sharply. I don't know, but we can figure all that out later. But I'm going to show you the logic as to how I create these things and, you know, modeling different, you know, surfaces using two, uh, surface e uh, using two surface equations. So let's take a peek here at the logic say behind the scenes the thinking here check this out okay so right here you have um, a picture of the function the piecewise function right here not that but this uh, I have the function y uh, f of x equals sine x plus 3 right there's the whole function but I've restricted the domain here so that it's only going from negative 5 to 5 because right now when GeoGebra augmented reality any axis goes from negative 5 to 5 so we're going to take this curve and we're going to spin it 360 degrees about the x-axis. And so once you do that, you get something that looks like this. But, we, uh, but the thing here is that you have to look at the logic here. Imagine a vertical plane of the form x equals a constant. See like right here, the x-axis right there. With that vase right there, right, what can you tell me about the cross-section of that red vase and this gray plane? What does it look like? And if you said it's a circle, you're absolutely correct. Now just think of what the equation of the circle would be here in 3-space, okay? Um, there are, not every middle and high school student will be able to work with this, but there's a lot of them that can and, and that should. But right here, okay, if you look at this, right, if you think this distance here is y, and the distance going up here is z, so we have y squared plus z squared equals a constant squared, or equals a value squared. And that, that radius, the radius of any circle, if you look at it, isn't it really the output f of x, right? So we have the equation of the form y squared plus z squared equals f of x quantity squared. And if you solve for z, just the way you see right here, you get two possibilities. You get z equals positive root f of x squared minus y squared, and z equals negative root f of x squared minus y squared. And that's the logic. So check this out. For that function that we made up above, this is what I put it right here. Now, I, I didn't restrict the domain of this, but you see how we get a nice, uh, cool-looking uh, vase here? That, that's what we're actually going to put in AR now, but not for this function. We're going to use the, the square root function instead for the bowl. All right? So let's go back to um, GeoGebra Augmented Reality now here. Just let me get QuickTime Player up and running again. There we go. So let's actually go to uh, whoop, Augmented Reality here, and let's just check it out. I've actually put these in already. Okay, if you look at the, before I made the screencast here to make it shorter, but notice here the function that I use right here is this one here. I put in root 1.9x plus 1 squared minus y squared and the negative of that, right? And so check it out here. Here is the ball, and here's the ball that I'm going to want to model here, right? It's kind of kind of cool, but check this out, right? I hold this up, hold the ball uh, up right here. Oops, hang on a second. Uh, what's going on here? Let me restart AR frozen here. Here we go. There we go. Kind of like this, right? And so check it out. You can see here, look at that fractal here. Keep going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny. That's I'm going out to infinity there. Isn't that cool? Right? But anyhow, sorry about that. I digress. Where'd it go? Oh, let me restart it again. And so now we'll take it and we'll find the place for it to let land right there. Capture it and check it out. Here's the ball we made. And now we're going to take this this pottery bowl and see how it fits the see how it fits the mold there. Check it out. And hold it up steady, just like oops, where'd you go? Just like so. And let's see, go back far enough. Maybe make it bigger. Let's see here. Not 
not bad, huh? I mean, granted, we can make some fine-tuned improvements here, but the point is, anything is possible here with this uh, GeoGebra Augmented Reality app. So that's really the logic behind it. So uh, I hope you guys, um, you know, have uh, have fun with it, and um, you know, I'd love to see what you what you create. And so, um, but that's the logic behind the. Uh, you know, mathematical modeling. Middle school students could even work with this. Just pick simple functions. How about y equals, how about f of x equals x from like zero to five? You spin that 360 degrees about the x-axis, you get a cone, right? Or just take f of x equals three. Spin that around, don't you get a cylinder? So students can explore, you know, what taking a two-dimensional uh, figure and rotating it 360 degrees about a line, and you can start exploring 3D solids there. Pretty awesome. This app is amazing. It's gonna get better over time, but just wanted to share. So thanks for watching.